One of the Prisrex tasers. That's more than I can carry. Heading to the vent.
Know your enemies. Now, I'm not talking about those that come at you with clenched fists, but with open arms. I'm not talking about that creepy old Victorian on the hill with the rickety shutter and the murder crows perched on the roof. No, that's too easy to see. I'm talking about the charming Mediterranean split level with the 2.5 kids in the yard. The one that looks warm and inviting, and you don't realize you're in a frame until you step inside and that big door swings shut on you. That is the real house of horrors. Not Derringer. Not Derringer. A blind man could see through his brand of corporate evil. I'm talking about Treglazov. I'm talking about his mouthpiece, Maddie Sade, a resident journalist. A woman who's literally in bed with the overseer. Or has been. People talk. <laughs> I don't know what kind of journalist she was on the outside, but she certainly sold her soul a thousand times over in here. And what makes her so insidious is that she's too damn pretty. She's the plastic that'll melt first and cause a grease fire when the revolution heats up. She tells her lies through a megawatt smile. But for now, she's more dangerous than Derringer, or any of those masked chumps. Even me, they, and all her empty promises have got nothing on Maddie. Actually, bad example. Me, they, has got something on everyone. I've seen the files. Huh. You know? That gives me an idea. I got a message for the Prizrak. To all you ghosts sulking around these halls, I got something to say. It's not your fault. You all been sold the same bill of goods by His Majesty King Treglazov. This place, this whole place, is just one big chessboard and all the pieces are pawns. Yeah, Derringer. Even you. The Overseer will junk you like a disposable razor as soon as your edges start to dull. You think I'm lying to you? You think because you're a loyalist and not some sawdust eating prole that you weren't a little carte blanche? <laughs> well, think again. <laughs> Enjoy the afterlife, chumps. Maybe they have the internet in hell. If it's my hell, they do. Let's face it. You signed up for this mess because you thought you didn't have a choice. Or that there'd be some nice perks, at least. But you can only feel up so many little old ladies in wheelchairs before the shine wears off. Whatever brought you to this place, whatever it took to get you on board, you signed that dotted line in blood, didn't you? Well, you should have read the fine print. Because a Treglazov contract is binding. Literally. And let's talk for a minute about the job itself. Getting worked up every time the threat level rises, hitting little kids, recalibration. Does it make you feel like more of a man? Hmm? I don't want to get all sour grapes here. I said, I don't blame you. And I don't. Truthfully. So I'm here to offer you a way out. And I don't mean at the end of a rope, neither. You know, living in crawl spaces has taught me to always keep an eye out for an escape route. So here's yours. Revolt. Revolt! Turn your rage and despair into something productive, and bring me the head of King Treglazov! And you better free yourselves because, well, <laughs> he sure won't. And in the meantime, I'll be here. Uh, I should probably clean up the place a little. Make some space for that severed head. This is Zager, saying don't trust anyone. Not even me. <laughs>